can line up seven when we went back to the green. Courtesy of one heck of a push from Wait For It, Ryan Seed. It was the five crew and Casey Kane that went to victory lane. But it wasn't just Ryan Sieg with a spectacular run. We gotta give the shout out to the leader, obviously, at the restart. That was Regan Smith. Ryan Reed and Jeremy Clements, too, because they have given us the most random collection of drivers in this first edition of the 2014 Dash for Cash. And I'm not gonna lie, I love it. <laughs> Regan Smith it might not seem random, but he has never before been in a Dash for Cash race. And here's how it works, in case you forgot. Now, those four drivers were the highest placing nationwide eligible drivers a week ago in Daytona. So this week, they will compete for $100,000. The highest placing driver of those four will take home the cash. Then that driver, plus the next three highest placing nationwide eligible drivers in the race today will have a chance to run for another $100,000 next week in Chicago. And here is the extra bonus. If one driver is to win the 100 grand in these first three D4D races, and then he wins the race at Iowa, Nationwide is going to throw in an extra $600,000 and make it a cool $1 million cash payout. Hey, now that, Jamie money. Little, is a nice little opportunity. Yes, it is. Tag in race reporter. Doc? Well, Jamie, every young race driver wants to get noticed, so when one of the sports heavyweights like Dale Earnhardt Jr. acknowledges your his approval of your performance, that's pretty special. In fact, that is huge for someone like Ryan Sieg. And Ryan, not only Dale Jr., but many people noticed what you and this little family-operated team did at Daytona last week. So what does that finish and this opportunity for the Dash for Cash mean to you? Uh, it means a lot to me and the, the team. Uh, we just, uh, it would help us uh, get, get the necessary tools and equipment to uh, run, unload more competitive and be more competitive each week. Uh, we just, uh, hopefully we can go out here nationwide, uh, in the New Hampshire and get the nationwide dash for cash. And uh, I just got to thank Pull Apart and uh, stationdigital.com for coming on last week at Daytona and get, help me get my, uh, my best career finish in nationwide. Just imagine what this $100,000, courtesy of the folks for the Dash for Cash, would do for this little team. They don't have an engineer, they don't have a rig, pull down rig, and they clock the car with a handheld stopwatch. How, how special would this be? Here's Dave Burns. The biggest challenge of the day made to these teams. Check out the earnings so far. Now, Regan Smith is obviously ahead of everyone else. He's won a race, he's leading the championship, runs for a bigger team. But check, you would think the numbers would, would still yeah, be bigger than yeah, that. Yeah. So I just think this is such a cool story. It's gonna be I, so fun to watch. I, I agree with you, Nicole. It's fantastic to see brand new names up front. I always get tired of seeing the same guys all the time. It's nice seeing Ryan Reed, Ryan Sieg, Jeremy Clemens, guys like that up there. And I like where they wanted at Daytona. Daytona with the draft mm -hmm. gave everybody a good shot to get up there, and these guys took advantage of it. I'm proud of them. Yeah, it's refreshing because, as we know, we, we want to talk about it throughout an entire series of races and see how they perform. It's excellent. This track is definitely not Daytona. Yes. And, and getting the attention and recognition they earned. Yeah, they have earned it, and last week these four drivers did a great job of uh, getting themselves positioned for this $100,000 bonus. You know, you talk about certainly those bottom three teams that could really use that, but I'm sure Dale Earnhardt Jr. would tell you his team could use $100,000 too to do some things, so it'll be fun to keep up with this race within the race today. Yeah, Enrique Smith Point leader would definitely be the favorite of that bunch, but think about just how huge it would be if one of those other teams could win it because they can. I mean, it could, it could, you've seen problems before. The race within the race, the Nationwide Insurance Dash for Cash. Uh, Seto's retired his car and now has now gotten into Jeffrey Earnhardt's car as a substitute driver. Jeffrey's still nursing that broken shoulder. And Ty Dillon had to start at the back of this field at the end of qualifying today. His team thought something wasn't right with their car, got permission from NASCAR to push it back to the garage early and have a look at it. They found a spring that wasn't quite set right and it had their front end heights all messed up and so on. And so they had to fix it. And Good today. They just needed help in the center. Dave? Cash for cash player Ryan Sieg is on pit road. His car was a little bit loose on entry. They adjusted for that. Filled the car full of Sunoco fuel. Ryan is back on his way. For now, the guy that he's racing for the free pass is Ryan Sieg in the 39 car. And you can't fault him for that. Ryan Sieg being taken uh, a lap down there by the leaders also. 39 car, a second lap down. Again, that fabulous drive at Daytona last week. Young 27-year-old from Georgia with five people on his race team including himself, working on his race cars, doing everything they can to get to the racetrack every week. And uh, from time to time, 
showing some really good strength this year. And, and I know, DJ, he certainly has impressed you, and, and, and we're hopeful he's impressing maybe some of the owners of some of the bigger teams. Yeah, I certainly hope that someone out there, someone else out there is paying attention. I had the chance. I went down yesterday and observed the race team for about 20 minutes just watching. It was just so old school. It took me back to my years of, of racing in this series and, and trying to make an impact and uh, just how they go about things. You know, you see all these teams, all the high-powered things they have. Their crew chief up on top of the, the hauler yesterday, there's no monitor up there for him to look at lap times. He's using a handheld stopwatch to do that. They did have a monitor in the, the, the pit stall there in their garage area. But, uh, you know, just making changes, no engineering staff. So you just, and his crew chief probably gave him the best compliment he said. Our driver makes us look better than what we probably are. And that says a lot about Ryan Sieg and the talent that he has. I hope he gets an opportunity. Speaking of driver, you around a victory lane, Regan Smith is about to get a very large check for his 10th place finish today here at New Hampshire. Jamie? Steve Richards, Todd 